Hey, welcome back to my happy place. Got a few things to show you. Let's do it. Hey there. Sorry that this is a little weird, but I noticed that the other camera is super blurry, so I have to do it this way. Anyway, we're back in my living room, and what I'm going to show you today is I've got a new drum set. It's not mine, it's Don's. And I've got a new bass drum head, custom, from a friend of mine. And I have a totally new way to set up my drums that I really like, so we're going to see what you think about it. Let's go over here to Don's new drums. I think as most of you knew, know that Don is not a kit drummer, really. He's a djembe player, but he saw this on uh, Facebook, and someone needed a little work done in exchange for a drum set, and he wanted it, so he did the little bit of work, and here is Don's new drum set. Also worth noting, this drum set is set up in the most traditional, most typical ways of setting up a five-piece drum kit. So let's come in here and I'll show you what we have. For any of you non-drummers who might not know this, we have the hi-hats over to the left. This is for a right-handed player, of course. Hi-hats to the left, snare, see that between the knees. Uh, cymbals are a personal preference, but here we have a crash cymbal. Then we have a high tom, mid tom, floor tom, and over here is our ride cymbal. So it's a basic setup. This is a quite a cool kit. It is a Yamaha Stage Custom, which is a birch kit. The sizes are kind of shallow toms. And one of the things I noticed about it that I really think is cool is on their badges, it has the actual size of the tom. So that you see this says SBT, what are the Stage Custom Birch, yeah. And then 12 is, it's a 12 inch diameter. So 12 inch head. And the 08 is an eight inch deep. So that's very cool. I, I dig that. I don't know of many drum sets that have the size right on the badges, but that's cool. This is a 10 by 7. That's a 22 inch bass drum. Also says on the badge. But it's cool. This is Don's drum set. And it's got uh, heads I've never used before. I don't think I've ever even seen them before this kit. These are the Remo Power Stroke, the P4s coated. And these are so nice sounding. Interesting side note, when I got my kit in 2018, I was choosing between three different kits. It was the Mapex Armory that I got, the PDP Concept Maple, that was a seven piece for a really great price, and this exact kit right here, Yamaha Stage Custom Birch, in this same color. This is Honey Amber, and this is the color I was going to get if I got the kit. Okay, moving on. I said I had a few things to show you. Next up, we're going to look at uh, my new custom bass head. I've never had one of these before. Uh, I had a friend of mine take my bass head a long, long time ago, like two years ago, and say she wanted to do a little little artwork on it. Thing is, I'm really not into knickknacks and things like that, and I'm also not... Well, I'm not into dragons. But anyway, I do have this drum set, of course, and there's one little knickknack type thing that I have on this drum set that I like a lot and it's my drum dragon I don't know if you've ever seen drum dragon let me turn the camera around show you drum dragon was given to me shortly after I got my kit and it's just too cute it just matches really nicely so I decided to go ahead and leave drum dragon on there forever and ever there's one more thing on my drum set that's not drum related that I keep because it came with love. This right here magnet. I love this magnet and it stays on my drums at all times. This is from Karen. Thank you very much, Karen. The other one's on my refrigerator. But this stays here, matches nicely, and I like it. 
And here's the custom base head. So my friend had my head for a couple of years, gave it back to me, and this is what we have. Look at that. It's modeled after Drum Dragon. She took a picture of Drum Dragon home with her, and she painted this. I think it's acrylic paints, but I, I don't know. But it's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. So thank you to my friend White Eagle. All right, thanks for sticking with me this long. We are gonna move on to the third and final portion of the video today, which is my new setup. It's another unconventional setup, another open-handed setup, and I bet you've never seen it before. So let's go check it out. Again, thanks for sticking around. If you've made it this long or if you just started here, that's cool too. I hope you're enjoying the video. And here is my new setup. You can see it's uh, pared down to a three-piece kit just because I felt like it right now. I've got a 14-inch floor tom, 14 snare, and my 22-inch bass drum. And something's different. I've got the hi-hat and the snare drum switched places from their normal place, which means I can put my legs a little bit closer together. There's Doobie. He wanted to say hi. And I can actually uh, play in an open-handed position with only a slight turn to the left. So we'll see a bunch of different pictures here. Here it is from the, from the right side. And Todd, especially, take note of my hi-hats. See that hearing protection on there? Keep that on there at all times so when I sit down, I don't forget to put them on. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's not a very good shot, but this is my feet. As you can see, there's no snare drum between my feet. So I'm sitting more like I'm sitting in a chair. My knees aren't spread far apart. It's very comfortable. Works great for me. Also... You're going to see in just a second here. It also works great for my hands. Now I'm playing in an open-handed position, which I like very much. I've always liked that. And there's a slight turn of my wrist, or excuse me, of my waist to the left, but only very slight. I can reach my hi-hats and my snare just as easily, if not more easily, than with the snare and the hi-hats in another position. And then again, of course, my legs are not spread as far apart. So I really like that a lot. So... Obviously, you can see if I'm sitting still, it seems to work. Let's see what happens if I try to play. Okay, so there it is, a few of the things that keep me happy and smiling. Thanks for watching. I got a few ideas for some more videos, so hopefully I'll be back soon. Maybe even with special guest Don, you hear him right there. And thanks for watching again. We're off to the beach. Aloha. Aloha.